As the storm clouds of World War II gathered on the horizon, a remarkable aircraft emerged to stand as a beacon of hope and defiance. The British Royal Air Force introduced the Spitfire, a fighter plane that would come to symbolize the unwavering spirit of a nation determined to resist the looming threat of Nazi domination. In the critical days of 1940, as Britain stood alone against the might of the Luftwaffe, the Spitfire took to the skies above London. It was a time when every sortie was a desperate fight to save lives and protect the homeland. Spitfire squadrons engaged battle-tested German Bf 109 and FW 190, showcasing their superior maneuverability and dogfighting prowess. The Spitfire's distinctive thin elliptical wings gave it an edge during dogfights, allowing it to outmaneuver the enemy. High above the skies of London during the Battle of Britain, these brave pilots managed to outsmart the Germans, racking up impressive victories and turning the tide of the conflict. The Germans underestimated the Spitfire, expecting a swift end to the confrontation. Little did they know, they were facing the world's most distinguished fighter, the Spitfire, Type 300. Born from the vision of R.J. Mitchell, a designer with a history of creating remarkable aircraft, the Type 300 was destined for greatness. The roots of the Spitfire trace back to the early 1930s when the British Air Ministry issued specification F-730. It sought a modern fighter aircraft capable of incredible speed and firepower. Award-winning designer R.J. Mitchell and his team embarked on a journey to create an aircraft that exceeded expectations. The journey was marked by challenges. The initial prototype, the Type 224, faced rejection due to its unimpressive performance. Undeterred, Mitchell's team returned to the drawing board, drawing inspiration from their Schneider Trophy seaplane designs. The persistence paid off. The Type 300 prototype, powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and featuring an iconic elliptical wing shape, caught the attention of the Air Ministry. This marked the birth of the Supermarine Spitfire, a name that would soon become synonymous with courage and resilience. With the threat of war intensifying, the Supermarine factory worked tirelessly to produce Spitfires. The aircraft's unique design and capabilities made it a force to be reckoned with, but challenges persisted. Tragedy struck with the passing of R.J. Mitchell in 1937. His friend and colleague, Joe Smith, stepped in to carry forward Mitchell's vision. Despite setbacks, the Spitfire Mark 1A and Mark 1B entered production, ready to defend the skies. As tensions escalated and war became inevitable, Spitfires took to the skies with a mission to protect their homeland. They engaged in fierce battles, marking their first victory over a German Heinkel 111 bomber in 1939. Then came the pivotal moment, the Battle of Britain. The Battle of Britain was a crucible that tested the mettle of Spitfire pilots. Their courage, skill, and unwavering determination shone brightly amidst the chaos. Day after day, these pilots faced overwhelming odds, yet they persevered, repelling the Luftwaffe's onslaught and defending their nation with unmatched valor. As the echoes of battle faded and the war-torn world began to rebuild, the legend of the Spitfire continued to soar. No longer a weapon of war, it transformed into a symbol of unity, a reminder of the sacrifices made, and a tribute to the resilience of nations. The Spitfire took on a new role, captivating audiences at air shows around the globe. Its aerobatic displays thrilled the masses, while its presence reminded everyone of the indomitable spirit that had carried the world through its darkest days. The skies above witnessed poignant moments as Spitfires performed ceremonial flyovers to honor fallen heroes. Their graceful formations paid homage to those who had given their lives in the defense of freedom, turning the roar of engines into a solemn tribute. The legacy of the Spitfire endures not only in memory but in the tangible form of meticulously restored aircraft. Dedicated enthusiasts and historians work tirelessly to keep these icons of history alive, allowing new generations to experience the awe-inspiring beauty of the Spitfire. Bringing a Spitfire back to life is a labor of love, requiring the expertise of skilled engineers, historians, and artisans. Each bolt, rivet, and panel tells a story, and the restoration process becomes a way to connect with the past and ensure the Spitfire's story lives on. The innovations that define the Spitfire's design have left an indelible mark on aviation. Modern aircraft owe a debt to the pioneering technologies that emerged during World War II. The principles of maneuverability, speed, and resilience continue to influence aviation advancements to this day. The Spitfire, with its unmatched maneuverability, iconic elliptical wings, and unwavering pilots, etched its name into history. It stood as a testament to the human spirit's ability to persevere in the darkest hours. In a world on the brink of chaos, the Spitfire's roar was a reminder that even against overwhelming odds, courage and determination could shape the course of history. And so, as the world plunged into the crucible of World War II, the Spitfire soared as a symbol of hope, a guardian of freedom, and a beacon of defiance against tyranny. Its legacy remains not only in the pages of history but also in the hearts of those who remember the brave pilots who defended the skies with honor and valor.